Hello. Today we are going to think about the model altar. This is our model altar in my atrium in my home. A model is a smaller version of a something that is bigger. The model altar that we have here is the smaller version of what we have in church where the priest is during mass. This is the altar. We want to think about the model altar to think about uh, during Mass, someone is inviting us to the holiest meal. And it is a very special meal. When we have a special meal, we use special things on, on the table. At Mass, during this holiest meal, we use special things on our altar. So this is our altar. Because we have special items on this uh, altar, we put on it an altar cloth. When you have a special meal at home, Maybe you put a tablecloth on your table for your special meal. We have an altar cloth. Next, we have a paten. A paten will hold the bread that will become Jesus at Mass. Chalice. The chalice will hold the wine that will become Jesus at Mass. Crucifix. Crucifix has an image of Jesus on a cross. Crucifix. It, you will see a crucifix at the altar to remind us who invites us to this holiest meal. Jesus invites us to this holiest meal. candles and candle holders. These are lit during Mass to remind us that Jesus died for us on the cross, but in three days he rose from the dead. These are all the items for the first part of the model altar. I am now going to show you some more items of the model altar. This is an ambo or lectern. It is where the readings are read during mass by the lector or by the deacon or priest. This is a lectionary. It has the readings from of the Bible that are read at Mass. And it is read from the Ambo or Lectern. Back here, this special box uh, is called a tabernacle. It is made with special metals. And in it, there will be a... Um, special vessel called a ciborium that will hold uh, the communion that has become Jesus, that is Jesus. And next to it is a sanctuary lamp that's red. It's a red candle holder. And when it is lit, we know that Jesus is in the tabernacle. It is kept locked. So there's a special key that unlocks it. And in, and in the ciborium will be the communion that is Jesus that is kept for the sick that can't come to Mass 
that is brought to them, and it is kept locked up. These are all the part two of the model altar. For part three, there's some additional items that are on the altar. One is a special cloth or corporal, corporal, that is placed under the pattern to catch any crumbs that might fall off. There is a little cloth called a purificator that is used to wipe any drips from the chalice. There's a special book that the priest reads from that are the prayers said during Mass that the priest says. It is called the Roman Missal. In addition to that, there's a little table on the side that the servers use. Um, it's called the credence table. And on it, you will have cruets that are used. They will have one will have water and one will have wine that will be used to prepare the chalice for the mass. Another is a, this would be filled with water, with, a, with water in the pitcher to pour over the priest's hands to wash them and dry them. This is called a lavabo or hand washing. It is a special prayer that the priest says to ask God to make him pure and ready as he does his special work, his special job that he has during Mass. And the servers bring that to, to the priest. And then finally, there's a bell that's rung when the bread has become Jesus and after the wine has become Jesus. Usually there's a, a book stand here as well. I don't have it here on this model, although I think I'm using it somewhere else. So this is the third part of the model altar. You can continue to think about this work through the cards. You may be getting special cards like this that have a picture of the item, like this is the altar, and it says altar at the bottom. And you may color this and you can trace in the word. If maybe you can read it or you're learning how to read it and then you can cut this off or cover it up so you can learn all the parts of the um, model altar. They might look something like mine looks like this. This is the total model altar. And then this is the altar. And on the back I have the name. And I say what it, what it is. So this is something you could do as well. This is another way to continue to think about the model altar, all those. You may, those, will, those cars will be going home as uh, activities or something to work on. Later we will also send cards that are a little smaller that have the pictures of them and they have the definitions of them that you can either read or have your parents help you read and to match the picture up with what um, what they what they are 
So these are all ways we can think about the altar through our model altar. It's a beautiful work. And we like to end this work with lighting the candles. Beautiful, isn't it? One song we like to sing is uh, Come, Jesus, come, Good Shepherd, come, The bread is on the table, Lead me to you. Come, Shepherd, come. Good, come, Jesus, come, good shepherd, come, the whole wine is on the table, lead me to you. And we say together, Christ has died, Christ is risen. We use this as a candle snuffer. We use this to safely extinguish the candles. When you do this work, this is your job. The adult's job is to light the candle, but you may extinguish them. Then you can restore all the items to their places. The lavabo. the bell, the credence table or altar servers table, the ambo or lectern with the lectionary, the Roman missile, The crucifix, the candles, the paten, the chalice, the corporal, the purificator. And the model and the alt the altar cloth, and we want to fold this. When you fold it, you use both of your hands and grab the two corners, pull it down, then even it out. Let's see if I can do it up here so you can see it a little better. Smooth it out, then take the two corners again and fold it over. We want to Restore it so it's neatly for the next person to use. Two corners and fold it one more time. And then this is the altar. Thank you for thinking about the model altar with me.